Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you the benefits of using heading styles in a Word document. So first of all, let's go to the Home tab and have a look at the heading styles. These are the heading styles that come preloaded um, with Microsoft Word. If you open this up a bit, you can see that there's a few more. And sometimes you get even more than that, depending if your company's created their own. Now in this particular document, I've applied heading styles to these titles. So you can see when I click on them, chapter one, heading style two, and that's the heading style one. Now, the benefits of using heading style are quite cool. First of all, if I wanted to change any of these styles, so if I want to change heading style one, I just need to right click on this, modify. So what I'll do is I'll do something very simple. I'll just make it italic. I don't particularly like that, but you can do automatic update. So everything will update in this document. And also if I want that to be a permanent change, I can change that for all new documents. If I click OK, that's changed. And if I now um, just highlight this and go heading style one, that's changed. And everything in this document will have changed to heading style one as it is now italic. I don't want it that though. So I'm just going to knock that off, modify, take that off. Make sure that's ticked and that's ticked. OK. And they come back to the original format. So that's one benefit. Easy to change the style and have it cascade through a, a large document very quickly. Another benefit of heading styles is if you go to the View tab, you've got this option, Navigation Pane. If I click on that, when you've used heading styles, you'll see the document structure in the Navigation Pane. And this is really cool because you can basically click on one of these headings and it just jumps in the document straight to that place wherever I click straight to that place also in this view I can move a heading style and the whole associated text not just the heading not just the heading will move with it now you see these little triangles in front of the heading style if I click on that it just actually collapses it down on the screen and hides it so you can see the structure of a document just by clicking on these little triangles that appear in front of the heading itself. So using the navigational pane to navigate about uh, or using these little triangles to collapse the detail. And like you saw there, you can just move it by just dragging and dropping. Now another use or another benefit, should I say, is you can do a table of contents with a heading style. So if I click down and now that's a heading style I've just created there. I just have to put that back to normal so that top line is on normal. And then I'm going to the reference tab and selecting table of contents. And this first default um, option is the one I'm going to pick and it just drops it in like that. Now the benefit of this is if I change, if I put an S on that, for example, this is now not correct. You can just update the table. Update page numbers only, update entire table because I've changed the title and it's put the S on there for me. If I see program is on page one, but if I do a hard page break, control and enter, program is now on page two, so I'll need to update the table again. And this time, just the page numbers need to change because I haven't actually done anything other than insert a page. So that's, that's only working because I've used heading styles, table of content, if I just get rid of that extra page, so bring that back up and then just put this back to what it was, refresh. Uh, OK, that's gone back onto page one. Now, another benefit is that once you've got a structure like this in Word, heading styles, you can send it into PowerPoint and create slides. Now, what will happen is PowerPoint will create a slide wherever it finds a heading style one. Wherever it which will be these ones, Where it, wherever it finds a heading style two, or three, it will be a bullet on that slide or a sub bullet on that slide. Now to do that, you need to go and add the tool, the icon, if you like, onto the quick axis toolbar or the, or the ribbon, whichever one you want. But I'm just going to go for the quick axis toolbar, changing this to all commands and then type in S to get me to the S's because it's called send to PowerPoint. And you just scroll down until you find um, send to PowerPoint. Send backwards, send to PowerPoint, send to Microsoft PowerPoint, that one, and then just send that across. I've already got it according to that. 
there it is so it is that one click OK and then I'm going to click on that so I'll just move PowerPoint and show you what it's created so that's just an enable editing so like I said um, that's a table of contents you don't really need that slide I'll just delete that so it's just giving you the structure there if I go into um, if I click on this again you get the outline there's the same outline as that you got in Word. It hasn't brought any details across. The idea is you just use this as your um, your outline and you bring your notes across and just copy and paste the notes into this area at the bottom there. So basically that's all I want to talk about is just some of the benefits that you get by using heading styles. So hopefully it was of use for you. Thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.